I just watched one of the stupidest videos ever made. Part of the reason it's so stupid is that it's not supposed to be stupid. In other words, some videos are supposed to be stupid, so their stupidity isn't as stupid. But when a video isn't trying to be stupid, and it ends up being shockingly stupid, that's a special kind of stupid. Obviously, I'm talking about the video 10 Lies You Were Told About Islam, which got more than a million views almost instantly. I don't know what planet this video came from, but there definitely aren't any signs of intelligent life there. As the title suggests, 10 Lies You Were Told About Islam is an attempt to respond to lies about Islam. Now, several of these lies are things you've never heard before. For instance, did you hear that someone once claimed that the population of Birmingham, England is 100% Muslim? Neither did anyone else with a life, but the geniuses at all-time tens were careful to refute this claim that some person you've never heard of apparently said somewhere. Since the video does try to respond to some more serious charges, we'll look at one of the responses here in part one of fact-checking 10 lies you were told about Islam. I'm sure you've heard the claim that many Muslims support violence. There are plenty of polls showing what percentages of Muslims in different countries support various kinds of violence, suicide bombings, targeting civilians, and so on. And it would have been interesting if the video had shared some of the actual polls and discussed them. Instead, the video makers decided to prove that their intellects are rivaled only by garden tools. Watch what they do here. Extensive research conducted by the Pew Research Center identifies 1.6 billion Muslims in the world, of which only 0.006625% identify with extremism. The narrator makes it sound like Pew Research found that only 0.006625% of Muslims identify with extremism. Let's do a little math here. There are 1.6 billion Muslims in the world. And the video insists that only 0.006625% of these Muslims identify with extremism. That would be a grand total of 106,000 Muslims in the entire world who identify with extremism. Now, I hereby challenge anyone to show me where Pew Research ever said anything so ridiculous. In fact, just so you understand how confident I am, I'll say this. Muslims of the world, I will bow down and recite the Shahada if you can show me Pew Research claiming that only 0.006625% of Muslims, 106,000 Muslims, identify with extremism. Listen to the clip one more time and then start scrambling through some Pew studies in a desperate attempt to convert me. Extensive research conducted by the Pew Research Center identifies 1.6 billion Muslims in the world, of which only 0.006625% identify with extremism. The only part of this claim that comes from Pew Research is that Pew Research estimates that there are 1.6 billion Muslims in the world. So where does the 0.006625% come from? All time tens doesn't tell us, but fortunately, I already know. It comes from the blog of a Mr. Dave Cecil, whose blog is called Words About Things. Pretty creative title there, Dave. Let's read some of his words about things. In a blog post shortly after the recent terrorist attack in Paris, Mr. Cecil writes, Let's not get it twisted, though, said the man who's about to twist everything. The members of these groups are the extreme minority of a religion with approximately 1.6 billion followers. Last year, CNN estimated around 106,000 people are members of or identify with these organizations. That means about 0.006625% of the Muslim population are extremist. Of course, that number might be and probably is higher now, but even if you triple or quadruple it, we're still talking about an extremely small percentage of Muslims. Do the Westboro Baptist Church or Ku Klux Klan accurately represent the moral tenets of Christianity? Of course they don't. Neither does ISIS represent the entirety of Islam. We shouldn't lose sight of that. Mr. Cecil links to a CNN article from which he derives his 106,000 figure. But what does the CNN article actually say? Let's do the difficult work of clicking on the link. We read from CNN, If we tally up the low and high estimates for all these groups, we can begin to have a sense of the total number of jihadist militants that are part of formal organizations around the globe. We found that on the low end, an estimated 85,000 men are fighting in jihadist groups around the world. On the high end, 106,000. The CNN article is talking about the total number of jihadis fighting as formal members of terrorist groups. It's not addressing how many Muslims in the world identify with extremism. 
Now, notice the progression here. CNN estimates that there are up to 106,000 actual jihadis fighting as members of terrorist organizations. And by the way, CNN doesn't include members of Hamas or Hezbollah in the estimate. A Mr. Dave Cecil, on his Words About Things blog, misrepresents this by saying that the estimate refers to people who are members of or identify with these organizations. So now it's not just the fighters, as CNN reports, it's also the people who identify with these fighters in some way. Then he misrepresents the figure even more by claiming that these are the only Muslims in the world who qualify as extremists. And All Time Tens runs with this and declares, only 0.006625% identify with extremism. But it gets even stupider. We could go through some of the real polls from the past several years. Here we would find, for instance, that according to a 2010 study by Pew Research, even after Osama bin Laden's popularity began to wane, 51% in the Palestinian territories, 28% in Jordan, 24% in Indonesia, 23% in Egypt, and 18% in Pakistan said they had confidence in Osama bin Laden. We'd find that according to a 2013 study by Pew Research, 99% of Muslims in Afghanistan, 91% of Muslims in Iraq, 84% of Muslims in Pakistan, 82% of Muslims in Bangladesh, and 74% of Muslims in Egypt want Sharia enforced in their countries. The same study by Pew Research shows that 89% of those who want Sharia enforced in Pakistan, 85% in Afghanistan, and 81% in Egypt say that stoning should be a punishment for adultery. The same study by Pew Research shows that 86% of those who want Sharia enforced in Egypt, 82% in Jordan, 79% in Afghanistan, and 76% in Pakistan support the death penalty for people who leave Islam. These numbers don't add up to 106,000. They're in the hundreds of millions. Anyone who suggests that only 0.006625% of Muslims identify with extremism is either a few clowns short of a circus or a compulsive liar. But we'll save these statistics for another video. The reason 10 Lies You Were Told About Islam wins first prize at the Stupidity Bowl is that the description box includes links that supposedly back up the claims in the video. And the study that's supposed to show that only 0.006625% of Muslims identify with extremism says no such thing. In fact, if you actually click on the link, you can see that the numbers are much, much higher. For example, the Pew study we're directed to says that 20% of Muslims in Nigeria have a favorable view of ISIS. Let's once again do the math. The population of Nigeria is around 182 million. More than 40% of the population is Muslim. And again, the Pew study we're sent to says that 20% of these Muslims have a favorable view of ISIS. 182 million people times 40% of the population that's Muslim times 20% of Muslims who have a favorable view of ISIS comes out to more than 14 and a half million Muslims in one country who have a favorable view of ISIS. Now, I don't know about you, but if someone gives the thumbs up to ISIS, I'd say he identifies with extremism. Only 0.006625% identify with extremism. And how do viewers react when they hear this nonsense? I nearly choked on my falafel when I saw a video actually telling the truth about Islam and Muslims. Great work, guys. Keep with the truth. I am a Muslim, and I am glad someone made a video like this. Finally, you preach the truth about Islam. Agreed. Thank you guys so much for this video. 19,621 Christopher Hitchens fanboys are butthurt. Thank you for having such an open mind and telling the world the truth about Muslims. Subscribed. Beautifully done, guys. That's exactly what I wanted to tell world. We never support violence. It's the media. Thanks for clarification to the word. Very informative video. Keep up the good work. Thanks for your video. May Allah bless you too and everyone in this world, regardless of faith and skin color. Very powerful video. And that's why people make videos like this. If you want to win the endless praise of certain Muslims and liberals, all you have to do is spout a bunch of utter nonsense in defense of Islam. It makes no difference whether it's true or false. Lie about statistics. Falsely claim that Pew Research agrees with you. Post links that conclusively disprove what you're saying. Your target audience won't care. And the people who do care, well, they weren't going to agree with you anyway. But here we have to ask our Muslim friends, don't you want better than this? 
Can your religion be defended without this kind of deception or not? When you cheer on all time tens for lying, it makes it sound like you want video makers to lie. Like it or not, there are frightening numbers of Muslims in the world who support some very dangerous, very extreme practices. I understand that many Muslims don't support these practices, but when the Muslims who don't support these practices nevertheless support lying about the statistics in order to cover up the massive numbers of Muslims who do support the practices, how do you think that looks to the rest of us? If you want to show that you're really against extremism, you should condemn videos like this. You should say, stop lying to defend my religion. My religion doesn't need your lies. We have a problem in Islam and we need to address it honestly, not deceptively. Don't lie about Islam in a video claiming to refute lies about Islam. But how many Muslims are saying this? So those are a few thoughts on just one of the many blunders of a seven minute video that's about as illuminating as a hockey puck to the forehead. If you'd like to look at some more, let me know in the comments section. In the meantime, be sure to share this video with the commenters over at All Time Tens. Most of them seem to have less going upstairs than a one story house. As enticing as it may be to leave them that way, they are our brothers and sisters in humanity. And if they don't hear the truth from us, they're not going to hear it at all.